This problem illustrates concepts of calculating pH for weak acid and a strong base titration. Question says calculate the pH of a solution formed when 45 ml of 0.1 m NaOH is added to 50 ml of 0.1 m acetic acid. K value for acetic acid is given and pK value for acetic acid is also given. So we have been given NaOH this is 45 ml this is 0 0.1 m NaOH so we can calculate mole of NaOH that is 45 into 0.1 so we will have 4.5 millimole. We have been also given acetic acid. And this is 50 ml and 0.1 m. So we can calculate mole of acetic acid that is 15 to 0.1 so we will have 5 millimole. Now we will have acid base reaction this is a base this is acid. we will have CH3COONA plus H2O mole of acid is 5 and mole of base is 4.5 so NaOH is limiting so this is at T is equals to 0 when this reaction will end it will have T is equals to T that is 0.5 millimole of acetic acid will remain and this will have 0 millimole of NaOH and will have salt that is 4.5 millimole. Now to calculate the pH of equation pH of solution we can use the following equation pKa plus log of concentration of salt divided by concentration of acid. So this is Henderson Hassel Walsh equation. PK is given that is 4.74 plus log of concentration of salt. Salt is 4.5 millimole and let us say volume is given 40, 45 and 50 that is 95 so this divided by 95 and acid we have acid left is 0.5 millimole and the volume is again 95 so volume basically cancels so we can also write in terms of mole ratio so log of 4.5 divided by 0.5 so we can calculate this value so 4.74 plus 4.5 this divided by 0.5 so this value is 5.69 So pH of this solution is 5.69. So whenever we have a strong acid weak base or weak acid a strong base we will use Henderson-Hassel-Walsh equation to find the pH value 
in this case first we have to write a equilibrium equation or this is completion equation and then we have to calculate mole of salt and mole of acid and if I plug the value of mole of salt and mole of acid in this equation we can calculate the pH of resulting solution. So Henderson-Hasselwall's equation is a good idea to solve this kind of problem.